the Bible. Don't get mad. It's just what it is. Everybody got to play their part. Every nation know it. You can't go nowhere in no other nation and see women ruling over men. And be thinking she don't need a man. I don't need no man. Yeah, all right, we going to see when them leatherneck Marines get the hit from NATO. Kick your dough in and he don't speak no English. Oh, look, he huh? And they start the raping and pillaging. Yeah. You gonna wish you had a man then. You gonna right. wish you had a man then. Right. That, that, that bro Beyonce put a, a, a demonic spirit on y'all women. Yeah. To the left, to the left. That's right. Huh? You must not know about me. I can have another you in a minute. Put a ring on. Matter of fact, he be here in a minute. Man, that's a that, that's an adulteress, man. That's right. And according to the Bible, you worthy of death if you in that vibration. Women ought to be quiet and in subjection to their men. Period. Oh, man, yeah, what I had. Smoke on the first Peter 3. You got it. Start at 1. 1 to 7. Smoke on the first Peter 3. Verse 1. Don't want to hear that, though, huh? Likewise, be quiet. Be in subjection to your own husband. See what does subjection mean? That means you're subjected to him. Be in subjection to your husband. Your own. Your own husband. Not nobody else. Come on, brother. That if any obey not the word, Come on. they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wise. Now, if he if somebody can be won by the conversation of the wise, that lets you know that she has to be a quiet, meek spirit. Ain't nobody from listening to no woman running her mouth, man. It don't work like that. Yeah. All right, come on, brother. Well, verse 2, while they behold your task and conversation compared with first, coupled, 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 coupled with fear, whose adoring that is not that with, with, with Start it off. Come on, brother, take your time. Whose adoring that is that it not be the outer of her. Out of doing of flame. Flatting the hair. Flatting the hair. And of wearing of gold. Mm -hmm. See, so he that was saying they're supposed to be focusing all their time and energy on their outward appearance. Right. But we supposed to be more focused and drawn to our inward beauty. Man, that's a quiet system. That's a virtue, man. Right you feel on. me? Right on. No doubt, oh, Come on, brother. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. I said we right on. Uh, Putting on, on, uh, putting on uh, a pearl. Yeah. But let it be, let it be oh. the hidden man of the heart. Let it be the what? The hidden man of the heart. The hidden man of the heart. No, or the inward beauty of a woman. That's what's supposed to be. Not the outward beauty where y'all spend six hours in the mirror. Ain't nothing changed in them six hours. See that? Come on, brother. Let's get it. But let it be the hidden, the hidden man of the heart. Is that which is not corruptible, even the on, even the, even the ornaments of the meat and the quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God uh -huh. of great price. You see that? Ooh. So if a woman is quiet and have a meek spirit, that says in the Ooh. eyes of Ooh. God. Well, right there, bless to you. So what do women get mad at us because we tell them their role according to the Bible? What are you mad about? The Bible says a woman, a great price in the sight of God is for a woman to be quiet, meek, not flapping her lips. She's beautiful and a brother that can't way. can't stand that. The scripture tell you I'd rather be, I'd rather dwell on our rooftop in the corner, huh, than in a, in a wide house with a broad. Only woman. You see that? They say, so the scriptures say, a great price in the eyes of God is a quiet and meek woman. But our women don't want that. She's like, oh, no, I'd rather say what I want to say, nigga. It's my mouth. I do what I it's do. It's my mouth. Y'all not women of the Lord then, man. <laughs> Come on, bro, read on down to seven. Verse five. Yeah. Lord, after this matter, in the old time of the holy woman, also, who trusted in God? See, the holy women like Sarah, like Rebecca, they trusted in the Lord. They say, likewise, Rachel, likewise, that's how the godly women act back in the day. Now, if you claiming you godly and you in church, and I, hun, I'm saved, <laughs> then how come we keep hearing all this worldly talk coming about these women's mouths? Yeah. And it's Beyonce spirit. They said the godly women of old time was quiet, was meek, mm. was in subjection to their husband. I don't know them as Lord. 
Sarah called Abraham Lord. Meaning what? She was a servant. His help me. Come on, brother, let's get it. Adoring themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. See, godly women are in subjection to their own husbands, period. Period. Ain't no getting around that. Oh, well, ain't brother, no way I don't like the way you that. said that, brother. <laughs> well, they ain't like the way the Lord said what he said at Mount Sinai. <laughs> huh? But we still had to get out. <laughs> It worked like that even on your carnal level. Your, your boss may say something to you you don't like. Do you still not got to do what he say? You still got to do it or get fired. Yep. Right. So one that's in authority over you and he say something you don't like, that don't mean... You don't got to do it. You don't got to do it. It don't mean that. Men are lions. <laughs> All right, come on, brother. Verse 6. Yeah. Even if Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Uh. Calling him what? Lord. Come on. Uh-huh. As long as she do well and are not afraid with any amazement. See, so you the you the daughters of Sarah as long as you women do well. Do well. I mean be quiet, keep the commandments of God and listen to what your husband is saying. 